Nowadays, borrowing money is already a trend. So borrowers should not least become familiar. <laughs> Nowadays, borrowing money is already a trend. So I hope. So I hope that you understand, analyze, and have. To analyze. To analyze. And have. Understand. So I hope you understand and analyze how. Last one, it's a jema. You can make a one. Hey, unagi kiko ba? Gawan. Like you did before, I will tell you the truth. All you need is more love and more things to Here's the formula. I is equal to pay times R times time. You to see <laughs> beautiful places and things that are nice for you. Problem. You have known in the amount of 10,000 pesos at any time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, three, go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are the group that will tackle a. I want to get skin. Yeah. One, two, three, go. In order to learn about ordinary and exact interest, we need to. I don't know. One, two, three, go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In contrast, exact interest is based on a 365-day year. If large sums of money are involved, the difference can be significant. The ratio of ordinary interest to exact interest is to one. Why not? One, two, three. In order to know what ordinary interest is, ordinary interest is an interest that is computed on the basis of a 360-day year, using 12 months of three. Much to me. With larger amounts invested, the difference between ordinary interest and the exact interest or a 365 year can be substantial. One, two, one, two, three, go. Interest is the sum paid for the use of money, business, concern, and the deal. Yo, good thing in any one, two, three, go. But when time is given in terms of days, two possible equivalents may be used. Of days, two possible equivalents may be used. Oh, 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 Okay, one, two, three, go. Here is the second example for ordinary interest. And this is the problem. <laughs> this is the second problem for ordinary interest. Okay, one, two, three, go. Given, principal is equal to 1,392 and the rate is 6% and we will convert it into decimal. 
This is a seven problem. A loan of two out of one hundred thousand pesos. Ninth problem. You have note in the amount of ten thousand pesos at nine point five percent interest, running from January to five to fifteen. In January and exact interest given. Interest. Not the right. April sixteen. Calculate the difference between ordinary and exact interest.